This program will show some of the equipment that's available today as well as how to use it and will give you a flavour of the sport that's available. The wood pigeon is widely recognised as one of the most remarkable birds in the UK, if not the world. Now regarded as an indigenous species here, its superb physical capabilities, combined with a ready ability to adapt to a wide range of circumstances, make it a highly successful and widely distributed, truly wild quarry. The wood pigeon can fly at up to 50 miles an hour in level flight and is a master of taking advantage of tricky, windy conditions to jink and flare away from any threat of danger in the blink of an eye. The bird's bright and staring yellow eyes give it truly remarkable vision, capable of spotting the smallest of movements from a great distance. In full plumage, the wood pigeon is a handsome bird indeed. Predominantly metallic grey, the tendency of the bird to congregate in large flocks is given away by the striking white wing bars and neck collar. Male and female birds are broadly similar in appearance with a wingspan of around two feet. But on closer inspection, the male bird is slightly larger and while both have a deeply hued pink breast, this might appear just a little brighter. Wood pigeons have a number of unusual characteristics. Rare in the bird world, they're capable of drinking by sucking up water direct. This is a valuable ability when the target crop is dry as dust grain or seeds. In reconnaissance and in planning a day, the sportsman should never forget that the pigeon needs plenty to drink as well as to eat. A water source is absolutely critical. In addition, the wood pigeon has the ability to produce a type of milky fluid to feed its young. This highly nutritious compound means young birds fledge remarkably quickly. They can be recognised in the early months of life by the lack of the bright white collar. Wood pigeons are surface feeders and will not dig to locate food. Their beak is perfectly designed for picking up seeds and grains and also for ripping chunks out of leafy crops. The sight of wood pigeons going to roost in the evening with a packed crop of food is a common one. Storing food in this way allows the birds to fully digest their food overnight, getting the most from even low nutritional value foods. They are then ready for replenishment the next day. Critically for the shooter, the wood pigeon is a bird of habit. They tend to stick to an area they know, following well-defined routes or flight lines to get them from A to B. Up at dawn, they feed throughout the day as they need to, before returning to their favoured roosting woods at night. That's not to say the bird is completely predictable. There's lots the shooter can do to stack the odds in his favour, but the pigeon is well known for changing his mind at the last moment, just when you think you've got his number. Above all though, despite its classification as an agricultural pest, the wood pigeon makes truly great eating and provides top quality sport year round to many thousands of shooters. The current health of the pigeon population in the UK today is due mainly to the change in agricultural crops and cropping patterns that we've seen in recent years. Specifically, we're talking about the widespread introduction of oilseed rape within the agricultural system from the early 1970s. Before that, the main source of food for pigeons throughout the winter was limited to areas of kale and crops of market gardening, as well as perhaps any natural berries that were around. All of these were unpredictable as a source of food, and that, combined with the colder winters meant that it was not uncommon for pigeons to simply starve to death. Indeed estimates suggest that the population was reduced by up to 50% in particularly difficult years. Where food was available however, huge numbers of birds would congregate and absolutely decimate crops before moving on in search of another area. With the introduction of oilseed rape in the 70s, agriculture dramatically changed. Pigeons also had a food crop that was available for nine months of the year but particularly through the difficult winter months. Oilseed rape has now become the staple food for wood pigeons over the winter. Even in frosty or snowy conditions, the pigeon will feed, providing the crop is showing. With this staple, the birds have a fallback. They will take advantage if other food is available, knowing that rape is always there. This year, for instance, had produced a bumper, natural crop of berries of all kinds, and this will last for several months. In addition, Acorns and beech mast were plentiful in areas of traditional woodland. 